It's the end of the world as we know it. I feel fine. Good morning, slaves. For weeks now, people in France have been throwing the fuck down. Since the general strike of March 31st, occupations and popular assemblies have burst into cities across the country, even as thousands of you square off against the pigs in the street. So, to learn more about just what the fuck is going down, I recently caught up with the members of this affiliation, a crew of autonomous troublemakers currently occupying the Philia building at Nanterre University, west of Paris. Hey y'all, how the fuck are you? We're fucking great! Since the general strike of March 31st, we've seen the spread of public occupations and general assemblies known as Nuit de Boue, or Rise Up at Night. What's the composition of the peeps taking part in these occupations? And what types of discussions are taking place at these assemblies? Well, peeps from all places, social conditions and political opinions, from far left to far right. The dynamics behind is very anti-capitalist, but not essentially anti-authoritarian, mix of Marxist and libertarians. There's discussion about everything, but there are very little idea of developing autonomy. It's mostly about how to reform the state and our society in general to fix all our problems. Still, there's interesting connection being built with squatters community and other militant collectives in general to organize daily lives on the camp, discussion, popular kitchens, etc. Many peeps have pointed to the Nuit de Boue as France's version of the Spanish Indignados or North American Occupy movements. Both of these earlier movements were hampered by the widespread pacifism of many of the participants. That said, the occupations in France grew out of the pre-existing movement that has and continues to regularly engage in direct action and militant street tactics. How has this affected the dynamics of the occupations and assemblies themselves? Are there still lots of arguments taking place around violent versus non-violent tactics? The question of so-called violent action fully divides these occupation. But this violence doesn't come from nowhere. For decades, police abuse has been growing and targeting specific communities. Immigrants, women, people of color. Young people destroy banks and police stations to protest the dictate of money and police. Many of the voices heard at Nuit Debout, commenting live streams or talking at general assemblies, oppose these violent protesters. But they are just a talkative minority, and most people really don't have a problem with burning banks and rental cars. Also, the divisions around violent action is interesting in the case of oppressed minorities. In Lyon, for instance, a few days ago, for their first Nuit Debout, women and non-binary peeps tried to organize in safer place outside of patriarchal domination. But they faced a shitstorm of angry men, but not only, who felt like they were trying to divide the movement and create new top-down system, when they were just trying to organize against a system of domination that we still find in anti-capitalist movement. French youth have played a strong role in the current movement, with tens of thousands of high school students taking part. What is driving teenagers in France to take to the streets in such numbers? And how has their participation affected the tone and the orientation of the broader movement? It's a very French thing for young people to be mobilized in social struggles. This is reinforced by the French scholar system, in which high school is the last school with a true social mix. High schoolers are usually more aware of the misery, chaos, and repression happening in France than the average French workers. The mobilized high schoolers do not really fight for a specific political and social project, but they are always among the first mobilized to fight and tear down the existing oppressive structure. Regarding the work law reform in particular, high schoolers usually see work as an oppressive institution and not a tool for emancipation. They have parents or friends' parents who suffer daily from their working condition, and they don't want such situation to be generalized and accepted by everyone. I think it's very interesting to see that the vast majority of them is not an organized or affiliated to any political organization in particular. There are a small group of very organized young people making general and assemblies and protests happen. But when the police come to beat everyone up, a lot of high schoolers just find it very normal to throw stones and bottles at the police, without even masking their face. It's a very dangerous practice for them, but it reveals something deeper in French society. Violence from the police is so deeply entrenched in our daily lives that fighting the cops doesn't require any preparation or extraordinary circumstances. They just do it. 